Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, in incredible games we've had today, this preliminary day for the 2014 Blood and Thunder World Cup live from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, welcome everybody, everybody in Chile and Latin America and everybody around the world. Yes. I'm Troncha Toro from Argentina. And I'm Late Night Lyle from here in America. Uh, we have two incredible teams making their first game today. We've gone through most of the teams already, but right now it's time for Japan and Chile to square off against each other. Exactly. The, the first time that they are playing against, um, again, different part of the world. I think Chile plays with Argentina once, mm. but I don't know if Japan plays again another another country. They, I think it's the first time they are playing against a uh, country abroad. I Japan. believe so. If we have viewers from Japan watching, konnichiwa or... Uh, I'm not sure what time it is over there. Actually, I think it's about a 14-hour difference from where we're yeah. at. I'll find out. Yeah. It may be, uh, Maybe they are sleeping. Right. Oh, yeah, sumi Well, I want to I want to say hola to everybody. Hola means hi. Uh, I know there is a lot of people looking this, this streaming, so hola a todos. Uh, I will try to translate a few things for the people who doesn't understand English, and obviously the people who understand English, they could. They will understand everything. We are just waiting for this for star. I, I I just I just noticed that here there is a huge Japan fever. Everybody wants to have the T-shirt of Japan, and everybody just have to take some picture with the Japan team. Like everybody here in America loves Japan. It really has been fantastic. We've seen um, a, a huge line. J Team Japan's booth didn't open up for much later, almost in anticipation. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah. as soon as it was, you could tell, oh, Team Japan's booth must be open because there's a massive line of people wanting their jerseys and all sorts of things from Team Japan. Um, I, I'm excited. I want to see how that, uh, that excitement translates to their gameplay. I think everybody, everything starts in the Men World Cup because Team Japan has a very good shot there. And everybody loves them. And I know the captain of the men's work, uh, the men's uh, team Japan, is the coach of the female team Japan. So maybe they have a, a like a, the same, you know, the same strategies on or not. We don't know, but could be. Could be, yeah. So they are introducing Team Chile. We have the roster right here. We do indeed. Chile has the number zero, Pequeña Maravilla. Number zero seven, Dulce Bu. Number eleven, Bunikil. Number two, Pinkat. Number two, zero five, Endorfina. Number twenty two, Rapaz. Number twenty seven, F, Pelurica. Number three, La Chilenita. Number three, 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 Verotica Fairless. Number third, uh, three, eight, Mamacita Muerte. Number four, one, nine, Stigia. Number 78, Chela Navaja. Number 88, eight, Satana. And the number B1, Chica Sheche. And in the other side, we have Team Japan. Of course, for Team Japan, we have number 13, Hell O Kitty. Number 143, Ninja Please. Number 17, Ayami. Number 229, Mark. Number 30, Nobue. Number 303, Secret Asian Slam. Number 31, Chi Fighter. Number 54, Aya. Number 5, Umo. The Jekyll Jackson. Wow. That's, number, a, that's, a, that's a weird name. That's an odd one. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, number 7, Slamurai. Number 719, Chikai. Number 75, Axel Managamur. Number 950, Thunder Bell. And number PA29, Mocha Panic. And we are just... Ready to start. We had in the summer line Chile Navaja, number 78. And, and uh, number 303, Secret Asian Slam. Estamos a punto de empezar entonces este partido con Chile Navaja en la línea de Shammer y Secret Asian Slam en la línea de Shammer para el equipo de Japón. It's been a really exciting day. There's been a lot of uh, interesting matchups and a couple of surprises. I'll talk to you about or we'll t tell you about a little l later on if you haven't been following the action all day. Secret Asian Slam on the inside gets knocked down. Going to have an opportunity now for Chile. 
No. Has to recycle back to the back. Tenemos a Chile en la baja peleando por conseguir el lead jammer. Lead jammer para Chile. ¿O no? No. Corte de pista. Primera penalty para el equipo chileno. A track cut on Navaya and a track cut on Secret Agent Slam as well as both jammers going to the penalty box. Oh my god, that's that was a, the, the shortest power jam that I ever seen in this <laughs> World Cup. <laughs> both jammers of course have to sit for at least 10 seconds. We'll see which one gets the No tenemos lead jammer para el equipo de Chile and the jammer of Team Japan is on the track. Chile Navaja gets five points for Team Chile. Cinco puntos para el equipo chileno. Secret Agent Slam out on her initial pass, but it's Chile on the board first. They are trying to get through the walls. Oh, caída para el equipo japonés. A low block on one of Team Chile's blockers. They That's have already, already two penalties. Like two blockers on the penalty. That could play well into Team Japan's ability to score some points here. They already have three points. Both teams on the board as this will go the full two minutes. And oh, another track cut by Secret Asian Slam. There is a power jump for Team Chile. Power jump for the equipo chileno. Four more to the score. For Chela. Chela Navaja. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm learning along. Yeah, you. With you, uh, you will improve. I, 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 I can set you. Chile Navaja is sacada de la pista. She's out of the trap. And three more points for Team Chile. Wow. So Chile with uh, not only a, a nice. Uh, Posting, posting several points on the board, taking advantage of a couple of power jams. Yeah. Japan, going to need to rein that in, watch those track cuts, but it's still very early on, of course. It was the first the first jam, only the first jam, and they had like three penalties. Oh, we had a Stigia, it's a very good jammer of uh, Metropolitan League in, in Santiago de Chile. And she's jamming for the Team Chile, and we have three or three for Secret the Team Asian Japan. Slam. Ah, the same jammer. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the penalty box. Lead, oh yeah. Lead jammer for Team Chile. Lead jammer para el equipo chileno. And she's trying to get some more points for Team Chile. She's fighting with the 30. And yet, five more points for Team Chile. Cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Certainly has the advantage. And the confidence early on as Team Japan trying to get a game plan together. Another grand slam for Team Chile. Double digits now in this jam. Secret Asian slam recycling back to the back. Tenemos a Stigia intentando pasar otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. They are fighting and she gets five more points for Chile. Uh, we have another penalty, Pinkas is going to the penalty. Pinkas is enviada a la penalty box. The score update for you here soon. Tijia is fighting at the same time that the Shammer of Champagne is doing the same only with, against three blockers of Team Chile. And the sham ends. That was zero points for Japan and three more points for Chile. And in the Shammer line, we have a number 205, Endor Endorfina, and the number 143, Ninja Please. Currently, the score is 3 to 33 with Chile in the lead. 53 puntos para el equipo chileno y 5 puntos para el equipo japonés en estos 15 minutos. Ninja Please making her debut on the jammer line for at least this event. First time. Endorfina is fighting with the different wall and she, she, she make a up a jam and she gets the lead jammer for Team Chile. Oh, and another power jam for Team Chile as a low block by Ninja Please. 
sends her to the notorious RED penalty box. Debido a un bloqueo bajo del equipo japonés, tenemos un power jam para el equipo chileno que consigue otros cinco puntos más. Five more points for Team Chile. Team Chile doing a good job, pouring on the grand slams. And they only have two blockers in the pack. Axel gets blasted to the side by Endorfina. No pack situation, situation de no pack. Another five points. Otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Power jam ends, Endorfina. Looking to add a third, and Ninja please gets her skate caught. Has to recycle back. Another far, five more points for Team Chile. A lot of points in this jam. Dolce Boop with a key block there, stopping Ninja Please from any forward motion. And Chile getting aggressive and stylistic as a bit of a. Another, another sham, uh, another upper, apex sham from the, this jammer. Otro salto de apex para la jammer chilena. Endorfina. And Dolce Bob going to the penalty box. Blocker for Team Chile. Team Chile, of course, in the blue and gray. Team Japan in the red with white stripes. And the champ ends with, oh, the helmet of the jammer. It's, oh. We have Chile Navaja, number 78, as a jammer in Team Chile. Yeah, number and a hello, 13. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Number 13. Only three blockers of Team Chile on the track and four blockers of Team Japan. This jam start in Pistol Jam. Score right now is Chile, 61. Team Japan still stands at three, 13 left in regulation. And lead jammer for Team Chile. Lead jammer for the equipo chileno. Oh, that was a very good pass. She gets five more points for Chile. Cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Thunderbell heads to the penalty box and Pink Cat. Cat also. So both teams down. Well, now Team Japan down two. Chikai. Another five more points for Team Chile. Hello Kitty is fighting now with two blockers of Team Chile. She's trying to get through the wall against La Chilenita. Hello Kitty. Moves to the inside. Nice spin move coming out of turn four and finally gets on her scoring run. Another four points for Team Chile as she called off the champ. Were you expecting Team Chile to be this dominant early on against Team Japan? Yeah, I think they, they are very they, they are doing very well. They have a very good summer. They definitely do, and they they've been uh, they've been able to put down a game plan that Team Japan hasn't been able to figure out. Team Japan really struggling to get any type of of rhythm going early on. Yeah, and we have fight Umo. It was Bashin Bashin Jackson. Who is the lead jammer, the first lead jammer of Team Japan in this bout? Well, Jackal Jackson, really exciting this crowd here. As she goes wide and calls off the jam, does she pick up any points? Two points for Team Japan, bringing them to five. Dos puntos más para el equipo japonés. And none for Team Chile. Effective jam there. And a big smile out of Jackal Jackson. Ochenta y tres puntos para el equipo chileno, cinco puntos para el equipo japonés. Eighty-three points for Chile, five points for Japan. Secret Asian Slam, starting this one off unopposed as Team Chile's jammer picked up a penalty right at the end of that jam. So a power jam for Team Japan. Can they take advantage of it? Solid wall work here 
Tenemos un power jam para el equipo eh, japonés que logra pasar y consigue el lead jammer para el equipo japonés. Secret Asian Slam now. Try and take a bite out of the lead of Team Chile. The oh. power jam ends. Big, big hit of La Chilenita against the jammer of Chile. But she's, she's going to the penalty box because she makes a clockwise hit. Five more points for Team Japan. Cinco puntos más para el equipo japonés. And I think there is a, another penalty box for Stigia, the jammer of Team Chile. Oh, no. No, she's going to the bench. Sorry. Well, both sides will feel the jammer. Hell, oh, Kenny. Or Team Japan is they're starting to get a little bit of momentum now. And Endorfina number 205. Endorfina having a very successful jam, posting over 20 points, I believe, in her previous jam, and is the lead jammer in this jam. You know, she she, she learned how to skate as when she was 31 years old. Wow. That's a very good skill. Never too late. Never too late or never too early yeah. to join Derby. And she gets through and she gets five more points for Team Chile. On the outside, it's a track cut for Hello Kitty. Another power jam for Team Chile, who... Otro power jam para el equipo chileno. Por un corte de pista de la jugadora japonesa. Intenta pasar en Norfina and she gets five more points for Team Chile. Cinco puntos más. Indorfina looks to the outside. Easy pass. Help cleared out by her teammates. Three blocker of each team on the track. They try to help her. La Chilenita. Very effective on the outside there for Team Chile. Oh. And oh, an, an illegal procedure penalty. For Hello Kitty, as soon as she comes back in, gives up another power jam. I think she, I think she returned to the, to the track, with, without the time to, end, you know. So there is another power jam for Team Chile. Power star. Tough break for Team Japan as they really struggling early on. And we have 100 points for Team Chile and 10 points. For Team Japan, 100 puntos para el equipo chileno y 10 puntos para el equipo japonés. In this power style with Estigia as a shammer of Team Chile, she gets through and she gets the lead shammer. Lead shammer para el equipo chileno. Team Chile doing a very effective job with all of their jammers, taking control, jam after jam. She's fighting with the 31 and she gets through another five points. For Team Chile, otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. No boy, going to the penalty box for Team Japan and being joined by teammate Chikai. And Team Japan may find themselves in some real penalty problems here. They're going to take a time out to try to sort this out. Un tiempo de equipo para el equipo japonés. Aprovecha los equipos para unirse. The, the teams are just. Oh, we, we can see the, the white board here. We, we can see that the white team has three uh, three pl uh, three players with three penalties in the only in the first half of the of the, uh, the battle. Very early for seven, and you're out. Yeah, so yeah. you have the 50 percent of the penalties, plus or less. It's kind of a worrying thing. Especially when you only have 20 minute halves in yeah. these preliminaries. Looking at the day today. Just a quick wrap up, New Zealand beat Norway. Australia was able to upset Italy. Canada over Argentina. South Africa uh, was unable to beat Wales. Belgium able to take a victory over Greece. The United States over the Netherlands. France beat. And we're going to have, we may have an explanation here in a moment, but France beat Switzerland. England taking out Germany and Finland over Colombia. I'll have more of those scores in but a moment. All about with a lot of difference between the teams. Mm -hmm. We couldn't see uh, 
it, it ta a tie a tie play. We all we all always see different score, like maybe 100 different between the, the teams. There was a lot of difference between them. There was one game that we'll talk about in a moment that was pretty close, even going to a tie at the half just a little bit ago. Right now it's been all Chile in this one as Japan unable to form an offense, but right now Team Japan gets their jammer out with Jaikul Jackson, but it's still Team Chile in control. Chile Navaja is going to the penalty box because of a cutting of the track. So we have a power jam for Team Japan. Chile Navaja is touching the penalty box for a corte de pista. This is a power jam for the team Japanese. He can see other five points more. Five more points for Team Japan. Great opportunity here for Team Japan to maybe get a breath of fresh air, get some confidence under them after having some both difficulty getting through the defense of Team Chile as well as their own problems in the penalty box. And boy, as I say that, yeah. they go straight to the, the penalty boxes. But Jaikul Jackson picks up a track cut. I think they couldn't finish on, uh, a penalty, but, um, sorry, a power champ. They couldn't finish one. They always went to the to the penalty box before ending the, the power champ. If there is, is one strategic thing they're going to want to correct, they're going to want to seriously look at when they go to the locker room at the half, it's going to be the penalties. Yeah, that's true. And we have four more points for Team Chile. Chile Navaja is jamming. Chikai uh, going to the penalty box and Mocha Panic. We only have two blockers of Team Japan on the track and the full pack of the Team Chile is on the track waiting for the jammer of Team Japan. Major pack advantage for Chile who has already been skilled at slicing through Japan's defense. And yes, she gets through. Bashi Jackson. Bashi Jackson. Bashi Jackson. Bashi Jackson. Oh, it, that's so hard for me to say it. It'll be Miss Jackson. Yeah, I would say Jackson. Go. Yeah, I yes. would say Jackson. It's muy difícil decir Bashi Jackson in Spanish. Así que vamos a decir solamente Jackson. And we have in the Shammer line, Secret Action Slam for the Team Japan and Stigia Shamming for Team Chile. Stigia chameando para el equipo chileno y Secret Asian Slam para el equipo japonés. Estigia has been... Can I get close? Yeah, yeah, you okay. that was good. And she's a lead shammer, Estigia is the lead shammer. It's really been a one-two punch between Estigia and uh, Endorfina. They, yeah, they play in the same team, I think. And they are very, very good shammers. Estigia called off the sham, Estigia corta el sham, Consiguiendo otros cuatro puntos más para el equipo chileno. Four more points for Chile, for Chile. And we have 126 for Chile and 20 points for Japan. 126 puntos para Chile, 20 puntos para el equipo japonés. Still three minutes left in regulation in the first half. We have, oh, de nuevo, against Jack Jackson in the penal, in the, sorry, in the summer line. And Endorfina jamming for Team Chile. The Jaikul Jackson, or Miss Jackson, if you're naughty. Or nasty, as it may be. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get through. They are working in the walls. Oh, no, another penalty for Team oh, Shepard. Another, another power track jam. cut. Oh, both of the Shepard are going oh. to the penalty box. It's been a little while since we've seen Team Chile oh. give up a, a power jam, but... Both, both sitting at the same time, I think. Las dos se sentaron al mismo tiempo. So they were, they, was, they were released at the same time. So they are fighting against the wall of the opposite teams. Oh, Jackson almost cut the track. Solid wall in the back straight away. Jackson looking for a path. Trying to get through this solid wall and that wall opening. Oh! oh! That was a big hit. Slamurai with a targeted hit, but goes to the penalty box and Team Chile able to break free anyway. Pasa la llama del equipo chileno después de un golpe muy fuerte de la jugadora japonesa que es enviada a la penalty box y consigue notar más puntaje para el equipo chileno. 
5 more points for Chile. 5 puntos más para Chile. Do you understand me? 5 puntos más para Chile. Do you understand me? Sure. 5 <laughs> more points for Chile. That's mean. I think Jackson is tired. Another 5 more points. 5 puntos más. Another blocker of Team Japan is going to the penalty box. The number 7, Slamurai. Slamurai had just come out of the penalty box as well. We're definitely going to see some real penalty trouble on Team Japan when we go to the half, which is only 50 seconds away. I think they have some players who are almost in the fallout area. I think Slamurai has maybe five, five penalties. Only in the first half of the of this match, it's kind of like special for her, you know. Certainly, Hello Kitty, Slamurai, and Chikai all possibly in some penalty trouble. And they're going to have to do something in the half to shore that up. Track cuts have really been the the bane of Team Japan here. And it's the first that, the first time that we are seeing Pinkas as a shammer. Uh, of the team Chile, she gets the lead, the lead shammer. Oh got, no, the shammer of Team Chappas is going to the penalty again. Another track cut. Yeah, Hello Kitty is going to the penalty box, so we have a power sham for Team Chile. Chica Sheshe going to the penalty box for Team Chile, shortly for the pivot for Team Chile. Oh. Tenemos a Pinca peleando con el equipo japonés. En este Power Jam para el equipo chileno, logra pasar y son cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Five, five more points for Chile. Another blocker of Team Japan is going to the penalty box. This is going to be a very, very difficult second half. Thunder Bell, who is one of the powerhouse blockers for Team Japan. Pinka, Pinka is trying to get through the wall again. She made it and she gets five more points for Team Chile. Team Chile is collecting the points by five. Five, five, five. It, they are. Nobue going back to the penalty box. And Hello Kitty is fighting with four blocker of Team Chile. I thought Chikai was going to go back, but no, it's it's one of um, one of Team Chile is going to the penalty box. So both sides pouring a lot of penalties into the box in this jam, which will be the final jam of the first half. And this jam ends. And we have 171 for Chile, 20 points for Japan, 171 puntos para el equipo chileno, 20 puntos para el equipo japonés. It is been uh, very surprising. I did not expect, uh, well, I, hey, I didn't expect Chile to have such organized defense. And I believe that that is really the key to Chile's game here is their ability to make it kind of easy for their jammers to move through. They've been able to not only contain Japan's jammers, but also create those open holes at the exact same time, usually on the outside, but you know, rarely in the middle, to just let them jet through and pick up those points five, 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 yeah. time and time again. That coupled with Team Japan. But Team Japan has a lot of penalties in this first half. Chile has maybe 10 power champs, only in one half of the of this this the, this match. It's kind of weird like that they have so much power champs only in one half of the, in only 20 minutes, you know, because it's only 20 minutes, so it's it's. I think that Japan has to just fix the shammers problem, the, maybe the, the cut of the tracks problem, uh, because the, I think they always go to the penalty because of cutting off the track penalty. Certainly, and it may come down to Team Japan not using the outside, forcing in the middle, getting their defense to split open the middle to prevent their jammers from uh, picking up those track cuts and then being more effective in that way. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we have to wait oh, uh, another six minutes for the second half. So well, we'll be back. We'll give you some of the other scores uh, when we come back from the half as well. 
Don't go anywhere. Okay, thank you. And we will see you in five minutes. At the 2014 Blood and Thunder World Cup. 30 countries and wow, what wow. an event it's been. A lot of people working here. I think it's the most, the biggest um, derby event that I can ever go. Like, it's, it's amazing. Everybody's working, everybody's smiling, and that's amazing. I had the honor of being a part of the first one, and it was the best derby event, probably the best sporting event I'd ever been a part of, and this one is starting to live up to that exact same um, feeling, that emotion, that passion, and that pride that comes along with the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, I, I can I, I can feel it, you know. I mm. can feel all this derby love around the world, from ev every everywhere. Like 30 countries, a lot of a lot of countries. It's really a lot amazing. Of part of the world. This game has been a bit one-sided. Team yeah. Japan has really struggled. In fact, there's a, a few skaters on Team Japan in some penalty trouble. Yeah, they have maybe five or six uh, penalties, which is a lot. Yes, penalties. yes, the um, Chikai, five penalties, Slamurai with four, several others with three penalties, and certainly that could get them in some real foul trouble, possibly fouling out early on. The score is 171 to 20 with Chile in the lead, and Chile it hasn't just been able to take advantage of Japan's um, difficulties here, but have also put on a great game plan and just from from start to finish hadn't let up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and actually now Japan only have two blockers on the track and the secret action sl slam is the shammer for the team. And it's, uh, the team Chile has only three blockers on the track. And Stigia is shamming for them. We are waiting for Star. Endorfina has been the powerhouse jammer for Chile, but it's difficult to tell because pretty much everybody they put out has been able to score a lot of points. Yeah, maybe 20, 20 po points by by Sham. It's it was like like 20 points, so maybe 15. But in contrast, of course, Team Japan has put put up a lot of power jams to help Team Chile put up all those points. Getting into the action, it is Team Chile right away in control once again. Lead Shammer for the team Chilean, and he logs to get the Shammer Japonese also from the pack. He encounters Stigia fighting, and he logs to notice about four points more, and he cuts the Sham. Stigia calls off the Sham. Another four points unanswered for Chile as the Jackal Jackson will don the star for the girls in red. And Chile Navaja, number 78, shamming for Chile. Three and three against three. Three blockers again, three blockers. Navaja and Jackson line up. Jackson has had some success here. Probably been one of their strongest jammers so far, but it is, it is Jackson. Team Japan is the, has the lead. Lead shammer by the equipo japonés. And Chile, Chile Navaja follows, follow the shammer. Oh, a forearm penalty is going to send Navaja to the penalty box. Power jam for Team Japan. Will they be able to take advantage of it? Chile Navaja is enviada a la penalty box por una, una utilización de brazos y por una insubordinación tiene dos faltas seguidas, o sea, un minuto en la penalty. She has two full, two penalties. In the, because the forearm and the insubordination, so she has one minute on the penalty ball. That we is have a, huge. We have a power sham of one minute uh, to Team Japan. She gets five more points. Grand slam for Jackson. Cinco puntos más para el equipo japonés en este power sham de un minuto que logran conseguir. And she's fighting. Samurai picking up her fifth penalty. Five more points for Team Japan. Cinco puntos más para el equipo japonés. You can hear the crowd just roar with with Jackson able to. Can she? Can she make it through for a third pass? She has two up already. 
And she's going to call it dead there. Porta el jam, la jugadora Jackson del equipo japonés. And she celebrates with the, with the crew. They are cheering for Team Japan here. Certainly a big moral victory there as Team Japan have started to find their groove in this game. But what a hill they have to climb. Yeah. We have in this power star for Team Japan, we have Ninja Bliss as a shammer, number 143. Ninja Bliss shammiendo por el equipo japonés en este power star. And Chela Navaja, Navaja is back on the track. Power jam is over. Navaja on the outside, into the back straightaway, is the lead jammer. Lead jammer for the equipo chileno. One, the pivot of Team Japan is going to the penalty box. Axel, pivot for Team Japan, heading to the penalty box. Ninja Police is fighting with the wall of Team Chile at the same time that Chela get five more points for Team Chile. It's only Axel's second penalty, been very strong in this game. Ninja please on her scoring run, but the jam gets shut down there on the outside of the back straightaway with tres. another three to the score for Chile. Three more points for Chile, three points more for Chile. The, the scoreboard is 183 for Chile, 37 for Japón, Japón, Japón. O 183 puntos para el equipo chileno, 37 puntos para el equipo japonés. Secret Asian Slam back on the line for Team Japan. You can learn the numbers because I I should say, I should say it in Spanish. You can you can learn the numbers in Spanish. <laughs> I gotta learn the numbers. I will. By the time by this time tomorrow, I will speak <laughs> fluent Spanish. Perfect. Estigia gets the lead jammer. Estigia es la lead jammer para el equipo chileno. I've got a much larger head start on Japanese, and I'm not there at it either. <laughs> okay. Oh, Estigia get five more points, doing it backwards. She's skating backwards. Patinando hacia atrás, consigue anotar cinco puntos más. La Shammer chilena. And she do the same thing. And she gets another five points. Otra, otra vez haciendo lo mismo, consigue otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Oh, big hit of Tijia. Oh. Pelea con la capitana del equipo japonés, Tijia, y logra pasarla, anotando otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Five more points for Chile. And the shammer of Team Japan couldn't pass the puck for the first time, I think. Oh, she, she did it, she did it. Secret Ashen Slam está intentando pasar a Estigia que le que corta el jam. Estigia cut up the jam. And Chile get 200 points. If it, and I know, I know my memory is extremely rusty, but I believe it's Nihyaku-san to um, Sanju Nana. Okay. What's that? <laughs> that would be the score in Japanese. Oh. It's been a long time, so there's somebody listening that's uh, like, no, no, no. It's so maybe they can correct us. Right. Maybe. Endorfina is Shammer for Team Chile, and she gets the lead Shammer status. And we have Foy Umo, Miss, Miss Jackson, as a Shammer of Team Japan. She gets through the pack. Jackson, not a scoring run, but she's not going to reach the pack in time. As you know that Endorfina was a very, very experienced a uh, soccer player and humble player uh, um, before Derby. That explains so. some of her footwork. We haven't seen a lot of Indotina in this half. They've kind of not played her as much. She was a dominant force in the first half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot of fo footwork with football, I think. <laughs> Ninja, please, is shaming for, uh, for Team Chapa. 
Yeah. And Chilena Vaca is shaming 14 Chile. Mm -hmm. The Vaca has really stepped up where Endorfina was, has been pulled to the side, perhaps to save her more for a later game. But Navaca has filled those skates quite well. Team Japan losing another player to the penalty box. This one, Chi Fighter, her first penalty of the evening. And Chile Navaja is going to the penalty box because she used the forearms. And at the same time, Ninja Please is going to the penalty box too because she has she do a cut in, a, cut in the track penalty. Chile Navaja utiliza los brazos. Es enviada a la penalty box. Pero reingresa ya que la chamber del equipo japonés también es enviada a la penalty box. Se encuentra Chile Navaja peleando con las jugadoras del equipo japonés, estirada y reciclada por la jugadora número 7 del equipo japonés, Madame, no, perdón, la jugadora Slamurai. We're getting word now that there was also a misconduct on uh, Ninja Please, although she's standing, it seemed like it was only 30 seconds. Oh, Chile Navaja fails because of a block of Slamurai. Samurai's in some real penalty trouble, but the crowd going mad here. And Ninja please going Another back to the notorious R.E.D. penalty box. Another cut in the truck for the team Japan, the second one in this champ. Uh-oh. Slamurai. Another penalty. And that is her sixth by my count. Ninja please. That's the first a star pass that we can we see of Team Chile and we have a, a new shammer who is Dulce Bob uh, Ninja please looks ill she's she's taken a uh, she may just be coughing but she definitely has two penalties there and in the shammer line we have a pink cut for shammer and it will be a power star from Team Chile, a power star for the equipo chileno. De la mano de Pinkat, número 2, jugadora de Complot. She's a player in Complot Roller Derby uh, League in Santiago de Chile. Hmm. Free blocker of Team Japan. Couldn't stop Pinkat, and she's the lead shammer of Team Chile. Pinkat. Looking to add even more to their already high score as La Chilenita goes to the penalty box. Blocker for Team Chile. Another five. five. Yeah, five more points for Team Chile. Cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. 2.16 to 37 with nine and a half left in regulation. And Team Japan going to have a lot to take back to the locker room to see what they can change for more games here as Slamurai goes back to the penalty box and that is going to be her seventh. She is fouled out of the game. Ninja please also. But Ninja she, please. But she get off the helmet cover. She's in the penalty box without the helmet cover on. Well, she took it off there at the end, but not sure if, if that was out of frustration or if she was not a legally allowed to, to have that on at the moment. Tenemos la primera expulsada del partido. La jugadora número 7, Slamurai, fue expulsada debido a, a tener 7 faltas. Fall out para la, la jugadora número 7 del equipo japonés. It should be noted that Ninja Please is standing in the, or sitting in the jammer box and now does have the jammer panty on her helmet. So we'll re-enter now. Thunder Bell going to the penalty box. That, I believe, is her third penalty of the evening. But uh, Ninja Please might be sitting at six herself. Yep. And Pinkat continue just getting points for Team Chile. This has been a A very good showing for Team Chile. And they've been able to go a little deeper into their jammer rotation. 
But it's going to be interesting to see how these two teams fare up as the tournament progresses. You know, perhaps even against, like, Team Australia has really shown a lot of um, a, some surprising skill, certainly a lot more than they brought to the World Cup last time. Now we have a lead summer for Chica CC for Team Chile. A track cut now by the Jekyll Jackson, and she's arguing. She feels that it should be another oh, penalty oh. along with it. She um, almost broke the penalty box. Chica CC está peleando por pasar, logra hacerlo. En otro otros cinco puntos más para el equipo chileno. Five more points for Chile team. Chica Cheche. Doing very well. Another pass, another five points for Team Chile. And if you watch, you can see time and time again, it is the, the teamwork of Team Chile able to allow their jammers, whomever has that star on their head, to just pass through untouched most of the time. Yep. And I think that it's very good for the team for the shammer of Team Chile because they won't be so tired of the heat that they receive because they don't receive any heat, you know? Allows them to put more energy into skating around the track. I think it's that why they have a lot of points, like maybe 20 points in the champ because they don't receive any heat. So she's just continue rolling around the track without without being hit. And we have five points for the 78 of Team Chile, five penalties and two players with six uh, penalties in the red team. That's right, it's Ninja, please. And uh, Chikai, only one of Team Chile's teams at five. are going to the penalty box. Las dos llamas están yendo a la penalty box. Thunderbell in the penalty box. And she's starting to rack up some penalties. Now they're focusing more on using her on those walls. But once again, Team Chile in control. Estilla get the lead chamber status for Team Chile. Oh, big oh, hit wow. on the blocker of Team Japan, and she gets five more points. Strategic hit, moving through. Estigia is fighting again against the blocker of Team Japan. Oh, opportunity as a skating out of bounds penalty is going to give Team Japan a power jam. Oh, Hello oh! Kitty, down to the ground, flat, as somebody is doing something well against Team USA. I think so. Because there is a massive, massive, massive chant going on. People are standing all over in this arena. And Hello Kitty is fighting with the Three blocker of Team Chile. Oh, Latinita hit her. And she's been recycled. And I think this this bow is going to end. Indeed. It is 336 to oh. 37. Sorry. 274, excuse me. To 37 with Chile in the lead. 274 puntos para el equipo chileno. 37 puntos para el equipo japonés. And in the summer line we have Chile Navaja as uh, like a summer of Chile and Secret Ashen Slam. And a timeout. Our official one. Official timeout. The referee are talking with the, with the NSO of the penalty NSO. 
and now they're talking with the Japan uh, bench. We'll see if there is going to be any further uh, foul outs here. We saw on the board earlier, Team Japan with one skater already flat fouled out. That sl slammer ride and two others just a penalty away from it. Team Chile has scored 99 unanswered points. Oh. El, el equipo chileno anotó 99 puntos sin que el equipo japonés haya anotado ningún puntaje. Esto quiere, esto, esto quiere decir que el equipo chileno anotó 99 puntos seguidos. That's a, an amazing history for Chile, Chilean team. Certainly uh, performing far better than what some might have expected here. Yeah. Maybe several teams that, that are waking up to Team Chile. And Chile Navaja is jamming for Team Chile and she gets the lead jammer status. Quickly on the inside to turn one. Let's see how many points she can pick up here as she is in a power jam. Mel O. Kitty sits in the penalty box. There's the first of what may be several five point swings. She's trying to get through again. And she made it. Another five points for Team Chile. Like a weird game of Red Rover as she bursts through the arms of Team Japan. The power jam is over. Hell O'Kenny fighting her way through, but the jam gets shut down. And we've got two and a half left of regulation. I know the look of Hello Kitty. She's like she's like all all the makeup in her in her face. She's a very very Japanese lady. Mm. She has this kind of style who it's from just just from Japan I think. It's sorry, it's a female comment. It's okay. <laughs> so we have a Stigia Shami for Team Chile and Miss Jackson for Team Japan. Miss Jackson Falling flat. Will she be able to regain? Battling to the front. Jackson may have the advantage. Goes into the back straightaway, pushing, staying on her skates, and the cycle Jackson is the lead jammer. Lead jammer for the equipo japonés. She's trying to get some points for Team Japan. She called the champs off and get two points for Team Japan. First points in quite some time. First control in seven jams. Wow. That's wow. got to feel good for both her team and herself. Yep. And zero points to Team Chile in the last jam. And we have a stick here on the penalty box. So we have a power, a power star for Team Japan. Uh, and the Shammer is Secret Ash Ashenslan. Team Japan now up to Yonju points. Or 40. She's trying to get through the four blocker of Team Chile. Team Chile at Nihyaku Hachi Juhachi. Oh no! Oh, that's. That's unfortunate. You hate to see that. Right when they were starting to get a breath of fresh air, Secret Asian Slam with a forearm goes to the penalty box. So we have a power slam for Team Chile. And Stigia. A track cut. Yeah. Opportunity swinging back for Team Japan. Only a few seconds, though. So now we have a power slam for Team Japan. It is, however. The period clock has expired, so this will be the final jam. A lot of two-minute two jams in this bout. There were. She gets through for the first time, at the same time as Tichia do the same. 
La Chilenita, blocker for Chile, heading to the penalty box. One more point for Japan. Very nice. And Stichia gets through another four more points for Chile. They almost have 300 points. And second Ashland Slam gets five more points for Team Japan. Four points for Chile. And that was the end. That's going to be it. Wow. Great showing in the in the final moments there of this game by Team Japan, but it was really penalties that sunk Japan ship in this in this game. It was a very difficult game for them to well to not get track cuts in. But in the end, they they get better a little bit. They, they don't did. have a lot of penalties, I think. Just well, only the Shammer has like two two cutting the track penalty in the sham, but that was all I think. That was that was a kind of you know like they they made it better. And certainly, it will be uh, interesting to see how much Team Japan is able to learn and take forward into their next game, as far as those penalties shoring those up and being able to play a, uh, a more straightforward, cleaner game. But this game has been all Team Chile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Th Team Chile just show his the power, and we will see what we, we that, oh we will see what's happened in the next bout of Team Chile. It could be a surprise. And now Team Chile is saying hi to the crew, and the final score is 296 for Chile, 53 for Japan. 296 puntos para el equipo chileno y 53 puntos para el equipo japonés. And of course, for our Japanese fans, the score, Nippon, Goju-san, Chile, Nihyaku Kyujuroku. Wow. Wow. That's all that I can say. I don't know anything about Japanese. Well, it is a, a, a fascinating culture that I've always adored, and I, it's great to see Team Japan here for the first time at the World Cup. They weren't, well, Team Chile wasn't at the first World Cup either. This is their first appearance. Yeah, yeah, I've, I, never, I never learned Japanese. I, I, I think I have to. I think I have to just start to learn another languages. I, I, I already know three languages, but I can I, it could be my my four languages. It could. Yeah, it's cool. Why not? Why not? I, I love different languages, so... It's a fun language. It's I love it because it's so different. It's, so, um, it's not a European language, so it doesn't follow the same cadence yeah. or pattern. But so. they have another culture, so they mm. came from another different part of the war, different, e they have everything different, so that, that must be just interesting. Yes, I've been to Japan, I've never been to Chile. I, I to was visit. in Chile, I was in Chile once, only okay. this July, last July I was, I was in Chile, and I obviously I met the girls in different tournament in Argentina, they play against my league and different leagues, and they are they are, they are, they are a very nice people, they, they work a lot to be here, they have, uh, they have, they have to save a lot of money. They have a lot of economical problem because of the travel. They, they really deserve to be here. They, they do. They, they, are, they are, they are a fighter. They, they fight a lot to be here. And they, they, they told me that they, they was playing with, with the, with the heart. Like, it doesn't care how, how much the, the travel uh, was for them, they, they will play with the heart. So it will be fun to see how these new teams just try, try to continue playing in this World Cup. Well, it's Chile's only game today, I believe. Japan, however, will play again tonight at about 7.40 
as they'll face off against Sweden right here on, well, it'll be over on track two, actually. Um, coming up here on track one, it'll be Finland versus Scotland. On track two, New Zealand versus South Africa. And on track three, England versus Spain. And from the one who are following me, because the Argentinian crew is following me, I will be in the next Colombia versus Mexico bout, who is in 6.20, so... But you can, you, meanwhile, you can just see the next one, the next match, who will be interesting, because there, there are two to teams who are very equals in, in level, I think. Maybe Indeed. England against, against Sweden will be like... And I'll be with you for the next Japan game. Okay. I'm, I'm Leonard Lyle. I'm Troncha Toro from Argentina. It's been a pleasure to be here with you. Don't go anywhere. A lot more Derby to come right here okay. on the 2014 Blood and Thunder World Cup.